Hey everybody, I'm the Crimson Zyver, and welcome back to more Let's Play Monster Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. In the last episode, we did some quests around the the world that we, well, that we haven't done yet, and all could have done, and, you know, and whatnot. In this episode, I am going to be going to the Jagged Rock Cave, taking on whatever's there that's blocking the way. But before we do that, however, I have an egg to hatch. This pulsing fanged wyvern egg. I'll hatch the others off screen, don't worry. But this one is a bit special because it is a Toby Kadachi. Yes, we are able to get a Toby Kadachi as a monsty. So now, let's go over Toby Kadachi. I've always considered Toby Kadachi to be that fusion of both Nagakuga and Zenoga, being that it's, you know, very fast, but also aggressive, and also has the lightning ability. Essentially, this is almost identical to both Nakuga and Zenogra in an extent. However, it wants to be like them, just isn't as good as either of them. Not to say it's a bad monster either, it's actually really good. It's just not as useful, and if I were to have a speed type electric monster or monster, I'm picking Zenoga any day. But if you do not get Zenoga straight away and you are able to get Toby Kadachi later on, then well. I mean, take one if you want, but I'd really just go for Zenoga if that's the case. You get one as soon as you. You can get one as soon as you get to Lelosca. It's not that hard to get. Okay, you have. You have quite a bit. Oh my gosh. Thunder Drop. That could be good for Zenoga. Thunder Boost S, Dancer M, Anti Paralysis M. Okay, you have actually pretty decent stuff. And um, if I got another, well, if I get another Toby Gadachi, I'll probably put that on Zenoga, perhaps that Thunder Drop attack, because that seems like it would be a good attack for him, especially because it's, uh, it's a speed. Uh, yeah, it's a speed attack, so it would fit perfectly on uh, Zenoga. But yes, anyways. We are going to the Jagged Rock Cave. Uh, you... okay. Uh, Hot mist. Okay. Let's just head over to the uh, Jagged Rock Cave, which is over this way. Actually, what I'm gonna do... No, I shouldn't do that, because then I'll just get rid of my... it'll waste my uh, uh, Hot Mist. Because I'm pretty sure you need to, um, well, I'm pretty sure you, uh, you need to, uh, you know, have them all, or you need to, what am I trying to say? When you respawn in, it basically gets rid of any, you know, hot mist or cool drinks, whatever you need. That guy said you're the one who made the windmills happen. Is that true, Vinia? To tell the truth, he was terrified of Frostfang at first. So, you mean he was against you coming back? That's right. But he seems perfectly fine around Frostfang now. Getting him and other villagers to accept Frostfang was a painfully long process. When I returned with Frostfang by my side, I was hopeful. At the time, the village was in really bad shape. There was even a monster living there. It seemed like a lost cause. What are we gonna do about that monster? Frostfang, let's go! Hey, it's Avinia! Did you come back to help us? Why else? Frostfang and I came back to do our part! I'm sorry about what I said to you. Stay in Kuan, please. Frostfang can stay too, of course. Okay. I'll stay. Let's rebuild our village together. 
They accepted Frostfang into the community, so we stayed. The windmills were the first things we rebuilt together. They mean so much to Kuon. They've come to symbolize all of us coming together, Frostfang included. Aw, oh, I love a happy ending. And Frostfang became part of the Kuon family. Now, if we could only get people to trust Ratha, too. I know how you feel about Ratha. He's as special to you as Frostfang is to me. You want him to be accepted? Keep trying, and eventually people will come around. Yeah! And remember, you can count on me all the way! The monster in the cave is a Kezu. I'm sure of it. A long time ago, I got attacked by one and it knocked me out cold. This won't be easy. So it seems like our enemy is going to be a Kezu. That's interesting. I also like that ending to that story of Avinia's. You know, how it, the townsfolk just accepted Frostfang in the end because after they helped. It's a nice, it's a nice uh, little story. Yeah. Okay, so we got the Jagged Rock Cave. We've actually not got a big cave to explore by the looks of it. All right. Let's go keep on keeping on. Over there, that's a... That's a subspecies of a Baroth. That is the Jade Baroth. Um, you can get a monster version of that monster, which I will go over when we get one. Um, realistically, I'm not going to fight it just yet, because that can be quite tough to handle. Uh, there's a Xantrius up ahead. Oh, do not... Not walk into it, or don't let it walk into me either. I'll item this way. Let's grab this. Yep, change our monster. Oh, bunch of zenny from that, which is good. Okay, S switch back into Naga Kuga and. Okay. Uh, nothing else by the looks of it. Okay. I'm just looking around to see if there's any treasure. Treasure chests and stuff, you know. You know how it is. Uh, okay. There is one over here, so we'll grab this. Sleep knife, okay. And grab that. Go back the way we came. Grab these. Shiny beetle, okay. So looks like we got one of two ways to go now. We'll go down first, see what uh, is that way. And if nothing is down there that we need to uh, take on, then well, we'll go the other way. And it looks like there's a chest over this way. Baggies, stop running towards me, please. Got diamond dust. Got blue chest. Weak part M. So, damn it, freaking baggies, I'll be, well, actually no, I can just run away from this, please run, get me out of there, or me out of here, <laughs> uh, okay. Always a thing where you're, you're just walking by and the next thing is like, oh no, it's, you know, it, we got run into by this monster. Uh, okay. Sneak by you. Going. 
Buddy, judging from how tingly my whiskers are, something big is waiting ahead. Be careful, it could be the Kezu. Something big. Yesus aren't normally big and like they're no bigger than a Well Then a, a Pookie Pookie. And anything? No? What what is what is going on? Huh. All clear. What? No way, my whiskers are never wrong. Nothing to the right or left, nothing in front of us, which leaves one more option. Watch out behind you! I thought this thing was meant to be silent. Didn't they say last time that the thing that attacked them was silent? It was a Kezu all along. These creepy things are experts at sneak attacks. Right, Kezu. Oh boy, what do I want to go for on this? I know it's... is it going to use power or is it going to use tech? Yeah, I'm probably going to use technical, so I'll go for Anjanath on this one. So let's go for some power attacks. And I was right. Of course I was right. I have a vivid memory of Kezu and what powers it uses. I remember when it goes to... um. It's electrified state, because yes, this is an electric monster. Uh, if it goes to an electrified state, I believe it uses speed, if not power. It's also one of the two, but I don't know which one it is. So, go for Burning Blast. But, Kezu... I, okay, I fought Red Kezu before. I should be able to take this thing on. And he's going for a uh, power attack, and we're going for a double. Snow spray. Um, okay. Not too much damage, but that's fine. It's really mad now. Keep your eyes on its attack patterns. Ye oh, okay. Now I'm going to use Anja Assault so that I can see what move it uses. I was using Raw. Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to use one of its attacks, but never mind. Still, seeing this kinship is really cool. Also, I would like to mention I am going to do a video on every uh, kinship skill, and I will be rating them from out of 10 on which ones I like and which one I don't. So... Okay, since you're, you're mad, so notably you would go for, would it be power or would it be speed? Oh, I'm so, I'm conflicted on what I want to do, so I'm going to go into technical and see what I can do, and see what happens. It's just using raw. I give down to everyone. Kezu rules can paralyze you, you'll have to block out the sound somehow. Okay. Normally Kezu rules don't really do much apart from, you know, causing you to stop moving. Which I guess is kind of like par uh, paralysis. Uh, paralysis? Jesus! But it doesn't necessarily paralyze you, it doesn't give you like a paralyzed state. Uh, I'm going to go into a technical attack. It's just using raw constantly in typical Kezu fashion. God, I don't like Kezu at all. Thunderfield, ooh. It's not doing any, like, you know, direct attacks to us. It's just trying to, like, you know, not have us do anything, really. 141. 283, awesome. Thunderfield, this is going to do some damage. 
Wow, we are all... Whoa, okay. We're all almost dead. That's not great. I can do something a lot better than life, sir. We have life powder. Frostfang can't move because it's paralyzed. That's not good. I'll just use a kinship skill. Skip this one. Frostfang again? It's paralyzed. Okay. Also, I did do some leveling up on my uh, equipment, so that it, you know, just for this, because in case it was, you know, it went bad, because it can do, it can go really bad. So my bow is a Toby Gadachi bow, which is level three, surprisingly. I was able to get the materials needed for it to upgrade it to its full um, power. Now it's really mad. So I have, yeah. So, ah, uh, oh, it's my strongest weapon, but is it okay? Oh gosh, okay, right. You, oh, gosh, who? Everyone is weak to electric except for Anjanav, Zenoga, and Catcher Watcher. Zenoga could be a good shout, maybe. I don't think it would be the best shout, but... Oh my gosh, I went for the right one. Oh, that could have been bad. Let's go. 524. Frostfang is paralyzed. It's almost dead, which is good. Um, is it? No, I do not want to use skills. Let's go for Thunderbug Strike. Let's go for a Charge Tackle. A strike. Thunderbug Strike. Broke his back. Nice. All right. I can hardly believe it. I've never seen a rider improve so quickly before. I almost double 21 for Catch and Zenoga. And we've got Flabby Hyde, that's mm, lovely. <laughs> lovely. Buddy, you've gotten stronger. It's all thanks to your bonds with different monsters. Keep it up, and you'll be a positively claudacious writer, just like the one who inspired Avinia. Who said that boy was a writer? Hmm? So... He isn't a writer? He tried his hardest to become a writer. But it just never worked out for him. If anyone should know that, it's you, Naviru. How? I think you're being a bit unfair. I never even met the guy. You've really forgotten him? Wait, so it's someone I know, like, personally? He never earned the title of writer. But he did ride the great Poogie. Though, the Poogie wasn't very pleased. No. No way! You mean to tell me it's... Jebly? Okay, let's get going.
Okay. This is coming from someone who's never played the original Monster of Stories game. Is definitely a character from that game. And if so, that's a great reference. And also, I know about the Great Poogie uh, being a monster in that game as well, which is actually kind of funny. But yeah, anyways, let's uh, head on back to the village. Uh, if I can. I'll just go here to Kuan Village. All right. What did you... Dowl, which we will, running into a fireplace as we do so. Uh, is there any quests around? No, there isn't. Okay, cool. No quests. No quests is okay with me. Then is here. Sheep, Anna, look who's back. And pause for effect. We got the windmill parts you need! Welcome back, my friends. I see you've dealt with the Kezu. Of course, I expected no less from legendary heroes. Chief, this actually isn't the legendary ride. <laughs> Chief, you set the bar pretty high for us, huh? Thanks to your sweat and hard work, we'll have all the windmills working again. That's one thing off the to-do list. One thing? To-do list? Sounds like there's more. Yes, I've been too tied up here to look into the pit. I'd love to have your help, my friends. All right, let's get to the pit. Please, be careful out there. I'm not sure why, but the monsters near that pit have been acting up. You're telling me! The Zamtrios we met outside the village was not what I would call friendly. I see. It seems to be happening all around. The guild's calling the lights Rage Rays. Rage Rays? The strange light from the pits is what's enraging monsters. At least, that's the guild's theory. Light that makes monsters mad. You may run into some rage raid monsters by the pit. Keep an eye out. Don't worry about us, Chief. Let the legendary duo handle this. Thank you. Good luck, my friends. We've been searching far and wide, but still no trace of old Day Day. The felines and I will keep up the search. Pit probe. The light emerging from the pit is causing the monsters strange behavior. The rage ray phenomenon has spread farther than Kuan. There are stories of it happening all across the land. What could be the connection between the pits, the light, and the rage rays? You head towards the pit to find out. Well, pits at the top of snow cloud Mount Lavina. Okay. We'll be doing all of that next time. See you guys then.